Listen, I don't know what the devil is trying to throw your way, but it is vital to keep your focus on who God says that you are. You know, the devil will try to use people, places, and situations to distract us from accomplishing the mission God has set before us. But that's the thing. Your identity is secure in Christ. Listen, we serve an awesome God who never gives up. We serve an almighty God who doesn't turn back on his word. You know, it's us that turn away and it's us that get distracted like a squirrel. And I know, I know, you can't seem to shake that feeling of pain. And I know it's hard to see yourself with someone else. But God had to get them out of your life so you can actually walk in what he has for you. He had to shift some things around because what he has for you, not everyone can come with. That was there for a season. And just remember, just remember how different you are now. There was a massive work that God did to your heart within all of that. It's kind of like you went under some massive heart surgery. And God is going to use all of that to make you into the person he created you to be in the first place. Now it's time to really heal. That's why God had to separate you because we don't want to bleed all over people anymore. Listen, you got this, and it's all going to be okay. Look, God is saying to someone right here, right now, get back to that first love and search out that heart of worship. Even when it looks insane, even when it doesn't make sense. You know, there has been this overthinking that has tried to take over your entire being recently. Thinking, well, if I had just done this or if I had just done that, but in all actuality, it played out just the way that it was supposed to. You know, that's why God is allowing you to rethink about it. He's allowing you to go over it because he wants you to see the lesson in it, because he wants you to learn from it and then move forward. Proverbs 4.25 says it like this, let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. So it's time to recognize the path God has sent you on and let them go. It was only meant to be there for a season. It was only meant to help you to get to where you are at right now. And guess what? It isn't over yet. It isn't over yet. There's still so much more that God has for you, but we can't really walk in it if we are constantly looking in the rear view mirror. You know, that's actually a horrible way to drive if you really think about it. You know, here's the thing. You, you took a different road than most of the crowd. And let's be honest, this road can feel lonely at times. And honestly, it feels like, well, why did they get to do all of that and I have to stay on this thorny path? It's because you are on the different path. You asked to go deeper and, and now that God took you there, you know, that's the most tragic thing. Once God takes us deeper, we try to scramble back to the shore. But don't let your feelings cause you to forfeit where God is taking you. Psalm 42, seven says it like this, deep calls to deep at the roar of your waterfalls, all your breakers and your waves have gone over me. Listen, God is right there with you and he will never leave you nor forsake you. My question to you is this, what did you learn from that past season that you can take with you anywhere you go? And the quicker we can get to that lesson, the quicker we can move forward in the call that God has on our lives. Listen, I don't know who this message is for and I don't know why God is putting this on my heart. But just because, just because that didn't work out the way you wanted it to, doesn't mean that God has forsaken you. And just because things didn't happen just the way we thought it should, doesn't mean that you are any less of a person because God sees all of us the same. He knows our hearts. 
He knows who we are deep down. And sometimes out of love, he will let us choose the wrong path because that's how we learn. But remember, remember who God is. So keep going, my friend. Keep pushing in the right direction. Look, Deuteronomy 10, 17 says it like this. For the Lord, your God, is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God who is not partial and takes no bribe. But listen, you got to pay attention to those red flags. That's where we always go wrong because God is trying to indicate to you what you need to avoid and then protect that peace at all costs. And the enemy is trying to entice you with something. He will always give you the counterfeit version. That's why drugs exist. That's why alcohol exists. Because it's the counterfeit of the actual peace that God has. It's the counterfeit of what God has for you. So even if you just slipped, remember, we serve a God of grace. Just get back up and get back on track. And when it all boils down, when it all boils down, how did it really add value to your life? Was it just draining you of whatever life you had? That's how you will know if it's from God or if the devil is trying to use soul ties to try and drain the life out of you. And I know, I know you loved them. And I know you really wanted it to work. But don't fall in love with red flags. Numbers 23, 19 says it like this. God is not man that he should lie or a son of man that he should change his mind. Has he said and will not do it? Or has he spoken and will he not fulfill it? So take an inventory right here of all the things that you've learned and now apply them into your life. Listen, God put this video on your screen for a reason because he knows that you just want to be loved and you just wanted to go back to the way that it was. But by him removing that, it was his way of protecting the work that he's doing in your life. Remember how back in the day that when something like this would happen, it would completely destroy you? Remember when it would totally make you shrink back five or 10 steps? Well, look at you now, stronger than ever and still pushing. Listen, I wanna say this, I'm proud of you and you deserve to be happy. So keep going and never back down. Think about Noah for a second. God told this man to build something that he had never seen before. And actually, people thought this man was nuts. Noah would go on to spend the rest of his life building this massive boat, which by all human standards seemed impossible anyway. And honestly, there had never been a flood like this. I mean, just the sheer size of this ship was unbelievable if you really think about it. But Noah did it anyway. He kept his focus on God and the word that God gave him. He didn't back down and he didn't give up when it looked like he should. And see, that's the God that we serve. That even when it looks completely desolate and even when it looks like we should just back down, God gave a promise and that promise would still stand till the end of time. Look, Genesis 8:11 says it like this. When the dove returned to him in the evening, there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. Then Noah knew that the water had receded from the earth. See, God never changes. So as he shows us things, we need to heed what he's showing us. And just like Noah built this incredible ship, his hope would be restored as he sent that dove out. He would see and be glad that he didn't give up because he was able to experience the promise. But if you give up, you won't see it. You know, this story was actually pointing to something much bigger and pointing to God's spirit and how Jesus would defeat hell and the grave. But more importantly, it shows us that we just have to keep building even in the face of what looks impossible. So don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. It is about to get so good in your life. Listen, right here at the end of this video, type this. Say, God's got the plan and I'm sticking to that. Listen, I love you so much. I'll see you on the next.